All right, you guys love the last Airbnb review I did in Antigua? Well, guess what? We're in Panama today, and I'm gonna give you another one, so let's get right on with it. Jaden, hit my drop. No, 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 no Tony versus the world! boys so you definitely gonna love this one today we are in panama city panama and i got this airbnb for seven hundred dollars it's about five or six days it's got three bedrooms and something crazy that i'm going to show you in a minute you might have already seen it already but guess what i'm going to highlight it in a minute just just bear with me for one second bear with me for one second so anyway like I said, this Airbnb is in Panama City, Panama. It's got three different bedrooms and a really nice kitchen, a seating area, um, three different bathrooms, and a crazy, crazy, crazy view of the city that we're gonna see in one second. So first, let's go check out the master bedroom. Through this way, after you walk in, here it is. Master bedroom, big giant, nice bed, Everything looks super comfortable. Air conditioned, of course. Why would you not have air conditioned in a hot climate like this? Every room is air conditioned. Got the TV screens on the wall. Everything nice and crazy. This bedroom, of course, it's the master bedroom. Even has a walk-in closet. And it's got everything that you could possibly want. The guy even left the ironing board here for you. Perfect, because that's exactly what I need. I roll up all my clothes and it gets super, super wrinkled, so that's clutch. I absolutely need to iron everywhere that I go. The bedroom, or the, I said the bedroom, the bathroom for the master bedroom. Perfect, nice and small, you get whatever you need in here. That's it, this is what you live for. So, walking back out of the master, master bedroom, you walk into the little dining room area where I just came from. You can see you got a, a nice seating area back there. Everything you possibly need. Now, we walk back into the other bedroom, which is back this way. You see that's a nice little small bedroom. You can get somebody in here, maybe one or two people. It's pretty nice. Not that big, but hey, listen, it does what you needed to do. All right, and it's got its own bathroom too. A little small thing, but again, does what you needed to do. Perfect. I love it. All right, now we're walking into the kitchen area. You got what you need, boys. You got your stove. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, your little kitchen. You can cook, do whatever you want. Your washing machine. Yes, that's clutch too, because uh, when you, it gets hot out here, and listen, I don't know about you, but I sweat a lot, so I'm gonna be using this. Most importantly though, in the kitchen, you gotta have a refrigerator stacked with one of these. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna get me one of these and uh, thank the owner for leaving me one. Cheers to you, boy. Now, back on out into the living room. You got your own big giant TV set, stereo system, all this and that, but this is what you guys came for. Crazy view of the city right on the water. This is it. You can see everything. This is called Balboa Avenue. This is like the, I guess, close to the downtown area of Panama City. And from here, it's like walking distance to everything. This is just looking out into the bay. And yeah, you can see all of this right from the living room. So the, uh, the other rooms actually have other views, but it's kind of the same. You can kind of see a little bit of the water. On some of the rooms, you can kind of see a little bit of city in the other rooms. So let's take a peek at one of the other windows here. Yeah, as you can see, like I said, this is a prime location that you want to be in Panama City. This is great. It's nice and clean. The owner left everything for me. You got soap, washcloths, because you know, if you guys have stayed in other Airbnbs, Sometimes they're not really, eh, you know, they're not all all what they say they are. They don't have all the amenities like a regular hotel was, and you you leave yearning for something. It's not worth all the money that they're charging. This guy, I'm gonna have to write him a good review. I'm also gonna leave the links for this particular Airbnb, so you guys can come here in Panama, 
and uh, stay with this guy. Mention my name, say you saw this video, and I'm pretty sure he'll leave you just a little bit of a discount. I, don't say nothing because we haven't talked about this yet, but <laughs> uh, me and the guy have talked a couple of times. and He's really, really nice. He responded to me really, really quickly. And yeah, this is where I'm going to be staying for the next five or six days. And this is going to be it, boys. I love it here. This is really, really nice. Um, I saw some restaurants that were uh, maybe like a block away. So that's what I'm going to do now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little really short review just so you could see what I got in Panama for $715, something like that. So for a whole entire week, I got basically the same price for a nice exclusive hotel, but I'm living in a building with the locals and you see what I got for this. You don't get a hotel stuff like this for money, for that, for that type of money. Well, anyway, we're gonna wrap this version of Tony versus the world up. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram because I'm putting everything on my stories. And like I said before, you guys are telling me where to go. I am leaving Panama and it may be about five or six days and I'm going to put it on my stories. You guys are going to tell me where to go and I'm going to buy a ticket at the airport. And I'm going to go exactly where you tell me to go. No exceptions, no questions asked. I hope I'm ready for this. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys know who I am. Of course I'm ready for this. I'm built for everything. You heard me? Everything. Tony versus the world. We're out. Peace.